What's up guys, welcome back to my let's play of Sonic Colors Ultimate. I had collected all 180 red star rings again, I got 99 tail saves again. So now let's go into game land and uh, get the rest of the Chaos Emeralds. I'm gonna be using, um, should I use blue or black? Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go blue, why not? I mean, blue is my favorite color after all. Uh, so we're gonna go into 3-3, and this level, I actually don't know what this is based on, because in the video where I'm getting this information from is called uh, The Truth Behind the Stages of Sonic Colors. Uh, basically, the video where I'm getting this information from uh, the guy went into the game's files, and this level is just labeled as Prototype. Why? Why did I... So this level is pretty similar to, um... Uh, World 1-2, and I am so distracted right now because I got this Eggman head chasing after me. Uh, but this is based on, uh, this reminds me a lot of 1-2, just a bit harder. And 1-2 is based on Tropical Resort Act 2. Um, so last time I got this Chaos Emerald, my save data actually got corrupted, and, uh, that's never fun. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. <laughs> okay, I think I heard the gold ring. Yep, it's right there, so I'm gonna grab a... Cyan Wisp, uh, if I can get up there, that would be nice. And I'm just gonna kinda spam laser here, just to uh, get to the end faster. Cause you can actually use drill in order to uh, break through these chroma cubes, but Laser actually is a lot faster. Um, so anyways, I got the white Chaos Emerald, or the silver Chaos Emerald, whatever you want to call it. So I think that level might have been based on Tropical Resort Act 2, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it was called, uh, based on Aquarium Park because of all the water, I really have no idea what that stage was based on. It's a prototype of something, though. A uh, silver certificate, collect the silver chaos emerald. Imagine if they named that achievement, it's no use. Um, and while we're making memes here, I gotta get the fourth chaos emerald. Where's that fourth chaos emerald? Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm about to get the fourth chaos emerald, and this is, um... This is why I was thinking about using that black uh, Virtual Hedgehog, because, you know, Shadow. Memes. Wow, is this what my commentary has really come to? Just fourth Chaos Emerald jokes? You know what, I'm gonna go for that Egg Metal. And this level is actually based on uh, Planet Wisp Act 6 because it's got the music playing and everything. Just gonna wait for this uh, spike wall to pass by so that I can just cheese the egg metal that way. Honestly, Mega Man 11 actually had a section like this in a uh, Blast Man stage. And I am not gonna go for that uh, super ring right there because I do not think I could do that. I don't know where I was going to go with that joke. I just had to wing it. 
Uh, but anyways, I got the red Chaos Emerald. It kind of throws me off that in this game, the, um, the red Chaos Emerald is the fourth Chaos Emerald. Uh, when in Sonic Rush, and like the advanced games, it would always be the first Chaos Emerald you get. Alright, I'm done making fourth Chaos Emerald jokes. Big Red Rock. I wonder if that's a reference to something. Oh, and if you pay attention up top, all of the Chaos Emerald sprites actually light up once you collect them. Um, so this level, um, I almost said Aquarium Park because of the music. Uh, what is this based on? Oh, it's Planet Wisp Act 6 again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, somebody who made these stages really was in love with Planet Wisp Act 6. Whoa. Okay, Blue Spikes actually looks really nice. Whoa, whoa, okay, can I... Yep, I knew that was a trap. Oh, wait, what? You can actually, like, kill... The Eggman head? Well, not kill, but destroy the Eggman head? That is something I never... Is there a switch I gotta press here or something? Uh, am I missing something? Okay, now it looks right, but... Yeah, I thought uh, spikes looked kind of off. Whoa, okay, that clearly wasn't what I was supposed to do. That clearly is not what you're supposed to do. Oh, so those platforms start moving when you take that egg pawn out. So this makes me wonder, do I have to take out all of the egg pawns right here in order to progress? Oh, wow. I think those are gonna... Yep, you have to take out all of the egg ponds there. Okay. Okay, I figured it out. Wait, whoa, wait, no, no, no. Did I hit a checkpoint? Oh no, of course I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna restart so I can get a better time here. And I did actually back up my save data, so I'm not really as concerned about it getting corrupted. For some reason, my Switch says it's not backed up, but then the backup save data is there. Uh, should I be concerned about that? So yeah, those egg ponds right there, don't let a single one get away. Wait, there was an egg metal right there. No, don't fall, okay. I'll have to come back and get that egg metal later. I know the egg metals don't really do anything like red rings do, but can I please not fall? Okay. I know the egg metals don't do anything the same way red rings do, but... Oh wow, this is actually kind of tricky because these platforms move so fast. Wait, what? Why did I fall off? I didn't even press the jump button. Okay. Wow, uh, can I please get to the end? That would be nice. <laughs> um, in terms of... Oh yeah, I kind of hate the purple Chaos Emerald just because of Sonic Rush. Um, the purple Chaos Emerald in Sonic Rush was the absolute worst special stage ever made. And the special stage, I mean, the purple emerald here was kind of annoying to get. I don't know, I just, like, me and that purple chaos emerald just do not get along well. Color of royalty, I mean, it is a pretty royal color, I'll give it that. Uh, next up is 6-3, which is another 
a Sky Chase themed level. Yeah, you thought I was done with Sky Chase Zone. I did it in Sonic 2, then I did it here, now I gotta do it uh, remixed in this game, so I get to go through Sky Chase twice, and I'm making the same mistake I made the first time around. I'm using the blue virtual hedgehog rather than red. Yeah, I'm gonna use red um, whenever I play the Sky Chase stages. Uh, just because I want it to be like, oh yeah, flying the tornado. Cause, oh boy, okay, that save. You know, maybe I should focus on the game rather than what color Virtual Hedgehog I'm using. Oh no, oh no. Okay, hover underwater is actually really weird to control. Wait, what? Oh, I like that. The, um, the rings there actually form a little, like, crescent shape. Kind of implying, like... Imagine if this is supposed to be, like, Sky Chase, but at night or something. Honestly, this is a pretty cool take on Sky Chase. Even though it is giving me more like Doomsday Zone vibes, but this is cool. I know this stage is based on Sky Chase there. Oh, wait, 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 no. Oh, I gotta do it all over again? I literally heard of the goal ring. Well, that's what I get for not hitting any checkpoints, but still, that's kind of cruel. And I was so close to the end, but I realized instantly, like, oh, I don't have a hover wisp. I can't do the light speed dash. I'm going to die. Actually, what if I go up this way? Is there an egg metal up here? I'm assuming you probably get an... Oh, wait, no. It's just a higher route. Um, is it just me, or are the water physics in this level a bit weird compared to... Oh, that's where the egg metal is. Okay. Not like it really means anything. Um, if I start drowning, I'm going to use... Wow, the announcer filled in my sentence for me. I mean, finished my sentence for me. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use drill and get hover so that I can actually use the light speed dash on my way out. Because that would have been very nice to have last time. Um, I think I might be getting close to the end here. Uh, if not, then I can kiss one of my, uh, wives goodbye. Oh, wait, no, no, that's it, that's it. Okay, so I got the blue Chaos Emerald. That could have definitely been better, but honestly, for my first go, that wasn't too bad. I just kind of choked at the end, but not bad. Blew me away. Oh, I get it. Very clever, Sega. Blew me away. Yeah, because how badly I did in that stage really blew me away. Um, so anyways, this is going to be the final Game Land stage, and this one is based on Sweet Mountain Act 1 from the main game. Like, I read that achievement, and I got so confused, but then when I said it out loud, I was like, oh... And yeah, I can tell this... This is very similar to Sweet Mountain Act 1, um, even though like they take the drill section and make it a water segment. 
And they make it to where you have to take what would be the drill section. Okay, so I'm, avo I'm gonna avoid those chroma cubes because I do not want them to slow me down. I know I could have taken the top path there, but... You know what, let's gamble a little bit. Okay. Gonna get some rings here, cause why not? Ooh, I'm getting a lot of rings out of that one. Um, okay, good, good. So I'm gonna grab one of these orange wisps with my yellow wisp. Um, I should have probably used rocket right here. That would have made this go by a lot faster. Uh, you know what, I can just go around these. Oh, wow, that close. Okay, let me try that again. Wait, I can't even wall jump to get that? I know you're supposed to use rocket, but I actually want to save that, so... Okay, got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I had to take out the egg pawns first. Jeez, do all of these egg pawns have wisps in them? I think I've died on literally every level so far. Okay, I was about to make that twice on one stage. And this is literally Sweet Mountain, too. I would have. I literally died on Sweet Mountain in Act 1. It's not even a hard stage. Well, to be fair, they made Starlight Zone Act 1 uh, kind of hard in this game. Because when I first played um, the Starlight Zone level in this game, I got... I died so many times. <laughs> Because they really do not give you that many rings in uh, Starlight Zone in this game. In fact, I think the only way you get uh, rings in that level is by those little pendulum things. I feel like I'm getting close to the end here. Oh, well, that's all of the Chaos Emeralds. And you know what happens when you get all the Chaos Emeralds? Well, when you get all seven Chaos Emeralds, as per tradition, you get to play as Super Sonic. And this game actually uh, marks the first time you get to play as Super Sonic in the actual levels. So the Option Satellite, just like how Sonic is about to do in a second, just went from blue to yellow. And I'm about to do the same thing with Sonic himself. He's about to go from blue to yellow. And I'm not talking about that drill wisp. But I, whoa, wait, wait. Did you see how many park tokens I had? Um, okay, my controller is acting weird. I'm gonna just go default here. And Super Sonic, let's see it. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually really clean. Um, so let me check. Super Sonic is enabled, right? Okay, so I'm going to play as Super Sonic for the first time for you all. And I believe he has a brand new theme as well. Hopefully he doesn't cause my game to lag or even... Yo, that is so cool. Hold up. So he actually replaces normal Sonic on the map screen. And he has a little whoosh sound when he goes from one space to another. I like that. Um, so I'm going to play as him in Tropical Resort Act 1. Why not? And I just wanted to say, like, thank you all for all... Like, I wanted to... Thank all of you guys for the support on not only this series, but my channel as a whole. Like, I have over 250 subscribers, and that is crazy to think about, so thank you all. 
uh, for supporting me along the way. Now I'm going to be mainly going after rings here, so... I still can't believe I maxed out my park tokens just by doing those game land stages. Um, so let's see here. Yep, so the wisps, they just fly away when you have supersonic enabled. Oh, only two away! Oh, I thought the game crashed for a second. Wait, no, no, no! Well, hopefully I can get 50 rings um, from this section alone. Alright, let's not stomp this time. I'm gonna pause and unpause just to get the music to play. Oh, he does have a new theme! It still reached for the stars, but it definitely sounds different from his original theme. Okay, I like that animation. I. Oh, that's cool. So when you do uh, tricks off a ramp, it just goes straight to amazing. It doesn't do the good, great, awesome, outstanding. It just goes straight to amazing. That is so cool. Flying low. Finish any act as supersonic. Wow. I, I'm I'm pretty happy right now. I have supersonic. Um you know, and I pretty much one hundred percent of this game. I beat uh terminal velocity. The only thing really left to show off here is um what's it called? The uh credit stage. So I'm gonna race Metal Sonic um as supersonic. Because, you know, Metal Sonic has Super Sonic's animations, and I, I genuinely think they might have used uh, Super Sonic to make the uh, Metal Sonic um, ghosts. Like, I think they might have just played as Super Sonic, but went easy on you. Because he never uses Wisps, he never gets hit, uh, he seems to have infinite boost. And he seems to run higher, I mean, run faster, not run higher than you. Also, I swear, oh wait, I can't use it. I was so thrown off. I was sitting here trying to use the laser, but then I remembered, oh wait, I can't do that. Oh, looks like I gotta take this path like a normie. Alright, jump right here. Oh, too early. Oh, he jumped- he tripped there, too. Um... But I- I think they might have, like, played as Supersonic. Um, had, um, and then just reskinned it to Metal Sonic and made it into a ghost. I mean, even when you start the race, the Metal Sonic looks like he's, like, powering up, and he's- like, gives you a head start. He'll... Oh, oh, well, you're, uh, you're screwed, Metal. <laughs> oh, he can't double jump? That's weird. Actually, let me get that music going, okay. There we go. I love Super Sonic's new theme. It sounds so good. I love how Reach for the Stars is slowly starting to become Sonic's theme song. And that is the level. Yeah, Metal Sonic really did not stand a chance, even though I'm not gonna lie, I think I can go through that level a lot faster with normal Sonic. I think I just have to get used to Metal Sonic's, like, 
I meant supersonics, a uh, higher jump and, um, you know, not being able to use the wisps. That's definitely something I gotta adjust to. It's like, they, they, like, you see a wisp and you're just like, your impulses kick in. You're like, oh, why don't I use this, you know? And then you remember, oh, wait, you can't do that when you have supersonic on. Um, but that is going to be uh, it for this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Cheesy YouTuber outro. And I left a link in the chat. Um, go raid this person. I may or may not know who they are. Um, of course, I'm in the past, so I don't know which stream it is that I'm linking right now. Um, but yeah, go check this person out. And in the meantime, I'm going to be breaking this game with Supersonic. So I will see you guys for the grand finale where I'll be playing through the 30 minutes credit stage. See you then.